tell us what First Lutheran Church was like in 1965. very friendly church. Uh, as you all know, we had, we had uh, stairs, you know, we had to uh, walk up and there was that gathering place and there was people like Charlie Cleveland, Howard Fletcher, and uh, those guys would get, get their arms around you and you just felt like you belonged. So it was very friendly and welcoming. Jim and I joined the church in 1963. Uh, Jim had just gotten out of the Air Guard, and we lived on South 17th. So we journeyed down to First Lutheran one Sunday, and Pastor England, England, England was very, he was very good. We, we really, really liked going and listening to him when we were very young, and uh, so they were, it was close to our house. As you all said, it, the people were very friendly. And uh, we also felt very welcomed by all the people that have been mentioned here, uh, and uh, by Pastor England also. What would you say First Lutheran was known for, maybe even before the move out to 70th and A at the prior building? What was the congregation best known for? I think it's been mentioned, I was known because it was a part of the Augustana Synod, the old Swedish Lutheran Church. And it'd be interesting to know that most of us came out of that heritage. And so uh, when we were looking for a church in Lincoln, not only because Sabin was there, but uh, it was an Augustana Synod church, so wh where else would you go? <laughs> but I think when you say that Augustana Synod, you have to recognize that some of us grew up with the old black book, the hymnal, and we just had an AHA festival, Augustana Heritage Association Festival at Midland University a couple of weeks ago. And uh, it was interesting, we used the old black hymnal for the liturgy, for the service on Sunday. And you talk about memories coming, just falling out of the sky. Uh, so I think that heritage was a part of the the attraction for many folks to come to first. Why did the congregation decide to move? And, uh, and, and why this place in particular? Well, we couldn't attract new members over on 70th and A. Uh, Grace Lutheran was right south there, and uh, they were serving in the neighborhood. They had a new building, and or newer than ours, and we had, uh, with handicapped folks, couldn't get up our stairs. Another reason, we had a very small parking lot, and we had to park parallel on the street, and uh, so uh, that was another reason for, for moving. And also, uh, as a Sunday school teacher, uh, we ended up uh, teaching in the old parsonage. Uh, the kitchen was a room, and uh, the dining room was a room, and. Um, I think there were some upstairs even, and, and um, so that was another good reason that we needed room. But I think the dream also was to serve additional people. I think most fo folks felt that the membership from the 17th and A would be moved here, and then servicing an area of community that it looks very different. You can't realize it's talked about. This was this was kind of open spaces. And as Jim's indicated, there was a little building out here, but it was an area that we saw the expansion, and that meant an opportunity to serve additional people. And Lutherans like Lutherans, so. I'd like to uh, relate how this property was bought. Uh, We'd already uh, decided, uh, we had a vote. As all you remember, we'd, it was all, everybody voted to, uh, to come over here, except for maybe one couple. You guys all remember that? And uh, so uh, Carl, Olson called me one, Carl Olson called me one Saturday morning, and he said, uh, and this is when we already knew we were coming out east, 
near on 70th Street. And he said, meet me at the uh, clock tower, right south of the clock tower. And this was a field of grass or wheat. It wasn't corn. And we met a man that was already here, and his name was Dick Agee. You guys remember that? And uh, he's, Mr. Agee says, this spot, I want a, a church built here. And uh, so I was only 20 years old. I didn't know anything about property. Carl did all the talking. And uh, this guy says, well, I'll give you one acre if you'll buy two. Carl says, I think that'll work. <laughs> and uh, as I recall, we paid $15,000 per acre. And, uh, and Mr. Agee gave us two. What I wanted to say, we first looked at the Berean church, where that property is. Carl said, I want the high land. And, he, and as you, if you look on this property, it sets up high. You go south, you go down. You go uh, north, you go down. Well, there were only, I think we had less than 300 members. Like I say, we had sponsored St. Andrews, so several people had moved out here. And um, uh, I think our challenge was that there were so few of us, uh, it was really a work of faith that we came out here because we didn't have a whole lot of money to really, but we'd been saving for it, so, uh, and according to the information there, people did well.